Hi and welcome to a new video. Does your payment method keep getting declined for some reason, thus preventing you from making purchases on the App Store? In this video, I will show you how to fix this problem so that you'll be able to purchase from the App Store, download apps for free, or even subscribe for services like iCloud Plus. Let's go! There are several possible reasons why your payment method is declined when you try to make a purchase or download from the App Store. Either you have insufficient funds, discrepancies on your billing information, or any other possible situational conflicts. To narrow down all other potential causes, you must first verify if your chosen payment method still has enough balance to complete a transaction. So, go ahead and check out the account information on your banking app now. If you do have insufficient funds, make sure to top up your balance first before creating another transaction. However, if you are certain that you have enough funds on your selected payment method, you can directly check your billing information in the settings. Sometimes, there may be some red texts describing an error with a particular payment method that can help you in understanding how to resolve the encountered problem. To check, open Settings, tap on your Apple ID and choose Payment and Shipping. Here, you will see all the payment methods associated with your Apple ID. As you can see in my case, there is nothing that indicates some errors because everything is accurate so far. But if you do notice any red texts, understand that this error message typically appears when some of the details on your billing information are incorrect or missing. You can resolve this easily by updating your data and providing the required information. When updating, make sure the payment details including your account number, card number, card expiration date, CVV and other details are valid and match everything on your actual banking account record. Another approach that you can consider is to add another payment method as a substitute to your primary account. To do this, simply tap on the Add Payment Method button and provide a valid account information. You can either type everything into the fields provided or scan your physical card to record the data more efficiently. Fortunately, Apple allows adding multiple payment methods associated with your Apple ID. Keep in mind though that the available payment methods vary for each state or country. Before adding another payment method, make sure to check first if it's valid in the country where you currently reside. You can look for the list of the applicable payment methods by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. Please note that Apple charges your account according to the order of your payment methods. Therefore, all of your purchases and subscriptions will automatically be charged using the first method on the list. Additionally, if you're in a family sharing group, only the family organizer who is the primary account holder can add or update payment methods. But if the family organizer disabled purchase sharing, everyone in the group will be able to use and update their own payment method. Now, have you provided all the necessary and accurate information regarding your accounts but the payment method is still declined? Then perhaps the problem isn't specifically with your payment method, but rather a software glitch which causes the verification error. If that is the case, you can force restart your iPhone. This approach is incredibly simple and straightforward, but it frequently resolves any minor software glitches within the device. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. If you're using older iPhone models, you can click on the tag at the top right corner or check out the link in the description below to learn how to force restart your device. So have the declined payment method been resolved? If so, which of the methods I have mentioned did you find effective? Please note it in the comments, I'll be glad to know it. That's it, if I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time, bye!